The Battle of Tsaisis, fought near Tsaisis in June 1919, was a decisive battle in the Estonian War of Independence, and the Latvian War of Independence. After heavy fighting an Estonian force moving from the north, supplemented by Latvian units, repelled Baltic German attacks and went on full counterattack. Chapter 1 – Background Latvia had declared independence in 1918, but was unable to stop the advance of the Red Army, resulting in the loss of Riga. The advance of the Red Latvian riflemen, was stopped by the German Vi Reserve Corps. The Reserve Corps under General Rudiger von der Goltz consisted of the Baltisch Landswehr, the Freikorps Iron Division, and the Guard Reserve Division. The Latvian volunteers loyal to the provisional government were also placed under the command of the Baltisch Landswehr. On 16 April 1919, the Latvian government of Carlos Almanis was toppled by the Germans, who installed a puppet German provisional government of Latvia headed by Andriyevs Nidra. However, the Latvian brigade led by Janis Balodis remained passively under the German command. After recapturing Riga from the Red Army, the Vi Reserve Corps continued its advance north. At the same time, the 3rd Estonian Division, having pushed the Soviets out of South Estonia, was advancing into Latvia from the north. Estonia continued to recognize the Almanis government, and neither side was ready to back down. On 5 June, fighting started, with the Landswehr capturing Tsaisis the following day. On 10 June with the mediation of the Allies a ceasefire was declared, but talks failed, and on 19 June fighting recommenced. Chapter 2 – Battle On 19 June, fighting resumed with an Iron Division attack on the Estonian positions near Limbaj. At that time, the 3rd Estonian Division, including the 2nd Latvian Tsaisis Regiment under Colonel Kristjanis Berkis, had 5,990 infantry and 125 cavalry. The pro-German forces had 5,500 to 6,300 infantry, 500 to 600 cavalry and a strong advantage in cannons, machine guns and mortars. German forces achieved some success around Limbage, but were soon pushed back. The Landswehr main attack started on 21 June, breaking through the positions of the 2nd Latvian Tsaisis Regiment at the Rorna River. The situation became critical for the 3rd Estonian Division, but the German assault was stopped by three Estonian armoured trains and the Kupajanov Partisan Battalion. The Landswehr continued attacking at several parts of the front, and more Estonian forces joined the battle. After stopping the last German attacks, the Estonian forces started a full counter-attack on 23 June resulting in the recapture of Tsaisis. The German units started a general retreat toward Riga. Chapter 3 – Aftermath The Battle of Tsaisis was a decisive victory for Estonia against the pro-German forces. The 3rd Estonian Division continued their advance towards Riga. On 3 July, the Estonian forces were at the outskirts of the city. Estonia, Latvia and the pro-German provisional government of Latvia signed the ceasefire of Strasdomoitsa on the demand of the Entente. The armistice restored the Ulmanis government in Riga. German forces were ordered to leave Latvia, the Baltic German Landswehr was put under command of the Latvian government and sent to fight against the Red Army. However, to circumvent Entente's orders, Many German soldiers instead of leaving, were incorporated into the West Russian Volunteer Army. Fighting in Latvia and Lithuania restarted in October and continued until December 1919. Estonia celebrates the anniversary of the battle as Victory Day, a national holiday. Common annual commemoration events of the battle are held on the 22nd of June at the Freedom Monument in Tsaisis, Latvia.